Well, there's great urgency. There, there's a sense of urgency, clearly. And, and does, are they, there's a sense of urgency, but can they capture that? You're talking about 28 different countries. Well, they have to. They, they really have to. And I met with the president of the European Commission yesterday. Uh, the prime minister of Belgium made it very clear. Uh, they know they need to move on these things. And uh, uh, hopefully that will happen. Secretary of State John Kerry on Face the Nation from CBS News yesterday. You heard the secretary say there is a great sense of urgency for those involved in European counter-terror -te intelligence, despite all the major gaps exposed when uh, Belgian authorities had a tough time responding to the terror attack in Brussels. Secretary Kerry says he's confident the EU will improve on security lapses in the not-too-distant future. Joining us via Skype, political commentator, broadcast TV station owner, and a fine broadcaster in his own right, Armstrong Williams, his program is called The Right Side, and he just returned from Paris, where he was taping some segments for his show when the Brussels attack occurred. From Washington tonight, Armstrong, we welcome you back to Newsmax Prime. It's always a pleasure uh, engaging with you, Congressman. Well, uh, Armstrong, the pleasure is mutual, I assure you, and I'm interested on your insights. What was the reaction in Paris to the Brussels attacks? Um, the, the European Union experiment has failed. Um, it's one of the reasons why the United Kingdom has not joined the, uh, the European Union experiment. They cannot coordinate the security to protect innocent citizens. Europe has always known of these terrorist attacks from the IRA um, to what happened in Italy and in other places, but there's never been coordinated attacks on innocent civilians. This is what is very different about this. I mean, it's one thing to talk about security lapses, but to allow someone to just walk up to ticket counter, to American Airlines ticket counter, and just detonate these bombs where you've been warned by the counter and terror, uh, um, terrorism community from the United States to Great Britain to Paris, and you just assuming that nothing's going to happen. And, and the fact is that many Europeans, when you talk to them on the street, they, they, they have to face reality. This is how Europe is, what Europe is becoming. Europe is the new Israel, Congressman Hayward. And while the Israelis can handle it well because of the proximity and the smallness of their, of their, look, of their country, it's very different in Europe. They're hey. not prepared for these kind of bus attacks, or restaurant attacks, or theater attacks, or airport attacks, or train attacks. I mean, the confidence. And, and another thing that we don't talk about is the impact that it's having on tourism, which is very crucial to the economies all across Europe. When Without a Paris doubt, that is true, Armstrong. But I want to go back to something you just said, comparing this to Israel. There's another key difference. Israel has strict border control, and the EU nations have basically gotten rid of border control. We see the problem now with all the refugees coming in. Will European nations have to reestablish their whole sense of sovereignty to one day deal with these security problems? They have no choice. You already see these right-wing groups um, gaining power in places like Brussels and places like Germany. They're not going to sit around and see their women raped, disrespected. They're not going to see innocent people killed for no reason at all. They entrusted their governments to protect them. And I think they've come to the realization that they are not sure whether they can protect them or not. About 30 seconds left. So the lesson for the United States in this is what? Strict border control and not allowing in refugees? That and the Second Amendment. Make sure well-trained, responsible citizens are armed to serve as a force also to work with the community, to work with the police, because law enforcement cannot do it alone. You must have the community involved, sometimes with the right to bear arms, to, to send a message to the terrorists. You never know who's packing in the United States, so be careful where you tread. Armstrong Williams. Sir, we thank you for your comments, your insights based on your recent trip to Europe, and we look forward to having you back again very soon. You heard what Armstrong had to say. Agree or disagree? Why don't you send me your comments? You can send them to NewsmaxTV.com slash comments or via Twitter. Our handle is at Newsmax Prime. Coming back, a big weekend for Bernie and the FBI investigation of Hillary heats up. Rick Unger and Glenn Downs will be here.